When the Israelites were in exile in Babylon, God used a prophet named Isaiah to deliver a very special message. To be in exile means you're being forced to live away from your true home. For the Israelites, their true home was the promised land, Israel, the land God promised to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. God had promised Abraham three things. His family would become a great nation, they would have their own land, and through that nation would come a blessing for the whole world. Those were pretty great promises. But now that Jerusalem was destroyed and the Israelites were stuck in Babylon, far away from the promised land, it seemed like none of those promises were coming true. Israel was supposed to be a great nation, but now they weren't a nation at all. They had no land. How could a blessing for the whole world come from Israel now? And what about the special promise God made to King David, that one of his family members would sit on the throne of Israel forever? Now there was no throne of Israel. God's promises confused the Israelites living in Babylon. They wondered if these promises would still come true and if they could still trust God. God knew how confused they were, so he sent his prophet Isaiah to give them one of the most important messages in the whole Bible. Is our story over? they asked Isaiah. Is this the end? It isn't the end, Isaiah answered. In fact, just wait until you hear what God is going to do next. Can you imagine how excited the Israelites were to hear what Isaiah had to say? First, Isaiah told them their time in Babylon wouldn't last forever. Seventy years, he said, and then they would be back in their own land. Then Isaiah told them about the Messiah. Messiah means anointed one. Samuel had anointed young David with oil as a sign that he was being set apart by God for a very special job, to be king of all Israel. And now Isaiah was saying that there was another anointed one coming. A baby would be born. He would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. But he would also have another name. This baby would be from King David's family, and he would grow up to rule God's people forever. A forever kind of king, bringing a forever kind of blessing, and the blessing for the whole world. How excited the Israelites must have been to hear that the story of Israel wasn't over. The promises of God would still come true. Israel would return to its land. Someone from King David's family would sit on the throne and be king over God's people forever. It turns out the hope of the world wasn't a mighty nation or a big army. The hope of the world was a baby. Can you guess that baby's name?